Hey guys, how do you get schema on all of your pages without having to edit each single page? That was the challenge that I solved. And I'm going to show you how today with Google Tag Manager. So the problem was back in the, in the day we used to have, so, so this is WordPress in this case and I'm on the pricing page and we changed all of our pricing plans um, for this year and then you know originally I would have to go and edit all of the schema that we would have on our page individually on each page because we just loaded it in as some HTML um, so it was just inside of our blog post somewhere here we had the schema somewhere lying down here on our WordPress and we would have to go in and change it everywhere that's quite time-consuming when you change your pricing and you have to do it on 200 pages so what I I did was I, I looked up different ways to do schema and I stumbled upon Google Tag Manager as a solution um, as you can see here we have these schema set up and I'll show you in a minute how we did it um, I stumbled upon Google Tag Manager as a solution but I didn't find any videos on how to actually do it um, so I thought I'll just make one now that I have uh, to update it again so what you do is you go into your tag manager that you've you know set up for your website um, and you basically just create a new uh, tag here you ch you press it and then you do custom HTML and in here you can do some support document right I don't I'm not sure if it's necessary but it definitely won't hurt um, and then you just simply paste in your schema uh, JSON file here and if you're also wondering how you create your own schema uh, JSON file, you could go, uh, you could Google um, Schemantra like this, Schemantra. So in my case, I'm I'm running, we're running a software. Uh, so I, I I googled Schemantra application software, and these guys they have everything. It's a really cool um, website where you can always generate schemas based on all the templates. So in this case, they give me text that I can fill out here so I can basically create my schema without coding it, so to speak. Um, and that's what we did. Um, and we came up with, uh, with the schema that, I'm just gonna discard this. We came up with this schema that you see here and we simply copy pasted it you know, in here from Schemantra. Um, and then the last thing you wanna do is, is tell, um, Tag Manager where to trigger it. So in our case, I only wanted um, I wanted a specific schema per language. So we have three languages. So we, we did three schemas. So I made a rule here that only on some window loads uh, and filtered by page URL uh, should this load. So in this case, I, I do some little bit nerdy thing called regex where I basically tell it uh, which pages to ignore. You can just ask a uh, chat GPT or some or Google it, you know, figure out how to, to, to do this. Uh, there's a lot of guides on how to, you know, set up different uh, filters for URLs um, with Tag Manager. But I found this solution and it worked great. Um, and that was just for the English pages. And then for, uh, for example, the Danish pages, I did the same. But in this case, I knew that I could simply trigger it by, you know, um, whatever was uh, had Danish URLs would be Danish pages. It's a little bit different for the English pages. That's why I chose a different method there. Um, and yeah, that, that works great. Um, so now I have these schemas that I don't have to go and update every page. I simply created rules in Tag Manager. Um, the rules that I've just shown you here, those triggers are basically rules for where this should fire where this should be loading um, I set it up for all my languages and then I simply just go here and submit it uh, and then then voila I have a schema on all of my pages um, and that's really nice because now I have to go in and update you know all of our schema because we changed our pricing we actually lowered some of our pricing um, so I have to go in and now and change that and imagine I had to do that on our almost 200 pages Oh my God, that would be such a chore. Uh, but now I simply can go in here, figure out where we mentioned pricing. So that's here. You see, we used to cost $65 um, and now it's 49. So I have to change that to 49 uh, and change a lot of other stuff here. But you know, I'm not gonna bore you with that. But now I can just do this very easily. 
and then I can save it and you know go out and then I'm just going to discard it for now and, and press submit here and there you go boom new prices updated so that's why tag manager is really nice for for schema and this is how you would do it all right I'm done let's press the button all right cool continue sing like no one is listening oh it's so nice to have saved so much time <laughs>